All right guys, I'm back with another mail bay and PSA reveal. Got a good mix of stuff. I'm gonna kind of walk you through what I'm thinking as always. Hopefully you learn something. Hopefully you enjoy. No waste of time. Let's just get it. All right, so first off, we have a little bulk lot I picked up. Um, interesting packaging here, but it was over, it had a bunch of bubble wrap and stuff around it. So it made it here safe. So that's what matters. Um, boom. All right, okay. We got the big kahuna on top. Um, Two big kahunas on top, actually. So Ronaldo, here, I'll put it to the side. Ronaldo Prism 2014 Blue. Really nice card. Um, you guys know I'm a huge believer in this set, especially Messi and Ronaldo. I got this for a really good price. I got this for a really good price, actually. Um, you know, I'll, I'll just tell you, I got this for like out the door. It was a bulk deal, but this card itself cost me like 350, 400, which I thought was just, couldn't say no. Um, the other biggest card, Charles Leclerc, Gold Wave. You know, this obviously the PSA 6 is tough. Um, and actually, you know, it's supposed to be that corner. That's not as bad as I thought. A little bit of edge wear. This could be like an SGC crack. That's something to think about. Um, and then a bunch of bulk stuff. Uh, De Bruyne Yellow, De Bruyne Orange Prism, Light Blue Laser 10. Number to 125. Another De Bruyne, De Bruyne Blue, Neymar Red Yellow, Cruz Red Blue, De Bruyne National Landmarks. That's actually a nice card. Um, Modric Copper, Topps Chrome 2017 Green, Ramos Gold, Hero PSA 10, then Hero BGS 10. I, I love it when I like, I don't buy many basketball cards, but that's really what got me into it. So it's always fun, like this. This card, I don't know, it's lame, but this card makes me really happy to see for some reason, just BGS 10, it's cool. Um, but just real quick, I wanna explain kind of like, so this is a bulk lot, right? And I wanna explain the kind of stuff that makes sense for me to pick up. So let me show you sometimes what doesn't make sense for me to pick up. So, and I'm not, and I'm not saying this just cause like, oh, you guys need to be better with what you're sending me. Like, I want you to also learn for maybe what you're buying, what would make sense for you to pick up. So a lot of times when I say I'm buying or I'm looking to buy, sometimes people will send me like two cards. They'll send me two cards like this. They'll be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm selling these, I'll sell it to you. The reason that these buying, first of all, it's hard because if you're only selling two cards, like it, it's, you should just go and sell, <laughs> sell it yourself. You know what I mean? Like the reason that you can have a bigger, like I can buy at a better margin on, on a bigger lot is because, you know, it would have taken this guy forever to sell through all this and it would have been work and taken time and he wouldn't have gotten his money. So there's, so it kind of makes sense for him too, right? It's like, it makes sense for him and it makes sense for me. So I can have some margin where I can, you know, sell him and, and hopefully make a little bit of money, but he also gets his money out quicker. But if you have, especially like a card like this, you, you should just, if you have this, don't sell it to me. You should just auction it because it's a liquid card. The comps are very set. Like let's, this don't even <laughs> look at this sticker, but like this card probably sells for like 45 bucks or something, right? If you run it on auction on eBay, you're gonna, it's gonna sell for, let's just say 45 bucks, you'll net out like 40 bucks or whatever, right? So if I do that, I'm only gonna get max, you know, 40 bucks for this card. So for it to be worth my time, like, or anyone's time, not just me, like a dealer, right? I mean, I'm not even like buy it at 30. Like, okay, even if I would buy this at 30, which I'm not sure I would, honestly, why why would you sell it at 30? You can literally just click auction and you'll get 40 bucks for it. Like it doesn't, and you only have to ship one card. It just doesn't make sense, you know? Um, and then with a card like this, this is another type of card, you know, Noah Okafor, gold. He's a, you guys maybe follow this, don't know soccer the best, but like he's, he's not the biggest name in soccer, but this is a gold refractor, so People will be like, oh, there's a comp of 50 out there. Like I'll, I'll sell it to you for 200 cause it's a, cause it's a PSA 10. It's going to be hard for me to move something like this. And also like it's one card. I, I'm not articulating this the best, but like sometimes it just doesn't make, I guess this is going to be a hard card to move versus, you know, I always say have a plan. Like, I don't know what, I would just put this up on eBay and I probably would get no offers on it just like the person who's probably trying to sell it to me has gotten no offers on it. But with stuff like the stuff here, you know, I, I, I have a plan with it. 
these this it kind of makes sense for me because I think that collectors really like these are two big sets like I know collectors will want these cards so I'm fine to sit on them even if they don't you know that's the other, I, I wouldn't sit on this because he may not even be relevant you know a couple months from now but these I'm fine to sit on I believe in these long term like these are the type of cards make sense for me to buy because I think someone will want them and I don't mind holding them for a little bit because I think they're going to hold value at the very least. And then like, you know, this is a whatnot card. If I can buy it in bulk, makes sense. This is like another set of people like, um, this one is a low pop card. There's some opportunity there, whatnot card, cheap whatnot card, probably another cheap whatnot card. So, um, and then something like this, like, you know, wait for the right collector who wants a BGS 10. Just kind of makes sense. All right, hopefully that wasn't too rambly, but uh, I've definitely heard people ramble much worse than uh, that on YouTube, so I won't feel too bad. Um, here we go, here's the PSA submission back that I just got. Oh, one more piece of tape, let me cut that. Boom. Uh, oh my God, we're falling apart here. Yeah, so this was $15 level, um, took about, this one took a while, actually. I think this one took like two months, but still, I mean, considering it's 15 bucks, it's not too bad. Um, I did not do well on this. This might have been, might, might, might have been one of my worst gem rates ever. So uh, I'll just show you kind of Messy Mojo Prism. This is a good card. Um, moist Keen, Blue Circle. Sometimes I just send stuff like this that I think is cool. Color match, this probably isn't the most expensive card. Uh, Flux, Supernova, you know, I, I, I needed like one of these cards to 10 and it just did not happen at all in this order. Um, Van Dyke, Gold Refractor, another in-demand card, 10 was cool. Chiesa Purple Velocity, nine. Lampard, nine. It's just a lot of nines. Um, the good news is, you know, even once again, if it adds $10 of value, let's say I'm losing five bucks on a handful of these cards, it's it's okay, but it is just a little frustrating. It, it, it just, it's, it seems so random, man. Like I said, sometimes it goes my way, sometimes it doesn't. So, pillow, oh, whatever. This is, this is a big time rambling video. Uh, Messi Select Silver PSA 9, cool card. Ball day. It's just interesting, right? Cause you can get some of this, like, I, this card was so cheap, man. I think I got this for like 15 bucks. Get it graded for 15. It's like, you're only into it 30 bucks. It feels like something like this should be worth more. And also like, you know what I mean? Like I could, the reason that sometimes it makes sense, I could put this in front of someone and just say, hey, give me 25 bucks for this. Like you can't look up comps and then I feel like almost anyone would do it. Not that I would tell someone not to look up comps, but I guess I'm just saying like, there's a really hard floor with some of these cards. So your downside is not that bad. Uh, Black Gold Wave, that was a tough one, eight. Another tough eight. Jack Grealish, blue, another one, you know, you can get these soccer autos really cheap. So I kind of like grading them. Uh, another tough, messy grade. I mean, they they really got me. I mean, granted, there's like print lines or whatever, but eights are tough. Cole Palmer, nine, and Gwen Doozy, nine. So what was there, like two tens in that whole stack? We don't love it. We don't love it. So the highs and lows of PSA grading. Once again, you know, $15 a card, though. The good news is the downside isn't that bad, but there's another one. Jude Bellingham, Red Mojo. I just needed, like one or two tens and I just, I did not get them. Nine there, Jack Grealish blue, nine. Maratta, nine. Oh, Justin Fields blue scope, nine. I already knew the grades, but somehow this hurts so much more just seeing it actually in front of me. Harry Kane, 10. Uh, Mbappe green wave, nine. Ronaldo red, 10, we'll take it. Uh, Foden aqua, nine. This is a cool one though. Let's 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 acknowledge this for a second. This is the variety we get on the channel. Griffey PMG Red Eight, and PMGs are a tough grade too. Like look at all that surface. So that's a really nice grade on this one. It's number two one hundred. Um, I think to the right. This isn't something I normally would buy, but I kind of got it in a bulk deal, and I'm I'm really happy with how it graded out. So this might this might cover the whole order depending if I just I have no idea what I'll sell this for. Um, but I think I'll just put it up on eBay and I, I think I could do well on it. Once we have Harvey Elliott pink, Kaminga ice, Modric blue 10, Musiala silver nine, Martinelli pink nine. Ah, this one hurt, Musiala blue. I was just like, you know, there was, a, there was like five or six cards and I was like, just give me one 10, I'm straight. 
didn't get it on any, including this one, Gavi Atomic out of 259. Even something like this. You know, actually, I'll take that back. This was probably one of the cards I would have wanted to 10. Um, Jude Bellingham Gold Bubbles. And there's a funny story behind this one, actually. I don't know where I bought it. Because it, it was... No, actually, I do know where I bought it. I bought it from someone, like, on Facebook. It was, like, a lot. I got a lot of cards. Um, and then I just listed... You know, I saw this. I didn't know it was the Gold Bubbles. I thought it was just the Yoga Benito, which was, like, is, like, a... I literally listed this on eBay Raw for $5. And someone who watches the channel, shout out to you, like super kind, messaged me. He's like, hey dude, you know this is a gold bubbles. You should probably take this down. Uh, and I was like, oh my God, thank you. So I was ready to sell this card for literally, I would have netted like $3 off this card. Um, but luckily he told me and I got a 10, which is just crazy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I guess that's good. And is that, oh my God, I'm, I'm falling apart here. I feel like I had, do I have any other cards? Who knows? Well, sorry, you don't get to see them. I don't know where they went. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for the PSA submission, guys, uh, and the mail day. Sorry, it was a little rambly, but I think I did a good job explaining my thinking. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace.